Hi guys, it's Taz here. Uh, just doing a quick vid. Um, one of my subs. Uh, I can't believe I even said that. Uh, basically, he asked. Uh, he's having issues with line of defence at the moment. So uh, he sent me uh, his heroes and his hero altar, uh, as well as his insignias uh, and so on. Uh, so I said, uh, I'll try and imitate what he's got and try to do it from there. So uh, yeah, I managed to get uh, over a thousand, uh, 158 place uh, with no LBF cards. <laughs> And uh, yeah, no extra turns because of uh, resets or whatever. So uh, I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, these are the teams I'm running at the moment. Uh, so uh, this one's okay, it's not the best. It has beaten uh, some of the very good teams. So <clears throat> and the only reason I've kept Ronan, Ronan in there at the moment is purely just uh, he normally survives until the end, so I thought I might as well keep him in there, and he might be able to kill up a hero or two. Uh, this team's not too bad overall. Uh, um, um, this is probably my uh, my A team. So yes, I am using Crystal Wraith and Phobos, uh, both according to one person, useless heroes. Uh, but in my book, uh, they're pretty good heroes overall. Okay, let's just do a quick look, <coughs> a couple of quick runs to see how it goes. Uh, to be honest, I want to pick something easy at the moment. Normally, I would go for that uh, SK there, but I've had issues with SK before. Why not? I can't keep doing this, so uh, yeah, let's try them first. See how this goes. Obviously, I get a Zephyrica. Uh, yeah, BT30 as well. So remember, this is my uh, so called weakest team. And it's managed to destroy all the heroes bar the Zephyrica, which obviously it's going to lose to. There was a way of uh, speeding this up or <coughs> fast forwarding it. It's just uh, stupid. Come to wait a full 30 seconds to. Uh, I should win in this one quite easily. There's no one who's. Uh, they're all BT30 on his side, but uh, still 13, it looks like. I have got some hope on my side, so I'm hoping that'll be enough. <coughs> and I should bring this one quite easily, even though, yet again, they're beating 30. Okay, I might not want to <laughs> beat them so easily. Unfortunately, I never change insignias and quests and uh, talents, etc. So uh, I just leave them how it is. So, yeah, not a great idea. So there'll be a time out. Okay, I think uh, you'll have to be a sewer. Even though they've got 256 with Schwiz, they've probably got all today. I don't think we've got any other choice at the moment. Okay, they're 14 skill, just min max, BT30s. 
I've got no chance of being this team. Oh well, might get 50 points of it. Well, definitely get 50 points at the end of today. either going to be another timeout or I'll lose. There's no way I can actually uh, be a Levanica and a Seferica. So, uh, yeah. Rest in peace. Two rocks are down already. Probably help me out. The third on the team as well. Why not? And Plague Mary. What do these guys actually do? LVF. I thought the whole point of doing uh, Lost Battlefield was for uh, free to play or casual free to play, just so they hope they can get 400 gems. I'm sure these are. Uh, Pay to play players really need those gems <clears throat> and a small amount of fame and the resources it gives. Yeah, they definitely require it. So I should win this one. One, I'm not too sure. There is a Phobos in the team, and there's Granny there as well. Looks like we won. to get to his level or he finished at 460 last week and just didn't bother trying. Master I'm gonna try my luck and hope he's a guy who just yeah looks like he's fine. No ET30 heroes. Oh I do pick him down up. didn't do it last week and uh, just ended up at 460 so he's on 460 today and he actually used LVF cards to get the 460 today um, for the life of me I can't understand why any pay to play player would do that but hey if you got that much money why not okay I'm not going to be able to beat him so uh Move on. Um, my last turn, oh, I'm going to go against. <coughs> BT30 yet again. So many high level players still playing LBF. 
I thought they would do an up with the amount of uh, timeouts and everything that happens. And no, my Ronin isn't a piety Ronin. Ronin, or uh, as someone calls it, deity. And uh, still for the life of me, I've got no idea why someone will call it a deity instead of a piety Ronin. Yeah, that's Americans for you. Hopefully we can win in this one, even though they have got Ripper, but uh, I'm sure I saw Ripper in there. His farthing's definitely there, because you can see it by the, uh, the attack. Definitely looks like Walla Walla's there. Fennec Pet. <coughs> yeah, so maybe this will be a timeout. Like it's going to be a timeout. Oh well, nice start to the week, eh? So let's actually get on with uh, the whole point of this uh, vid. Um, oh, wait, just give me two seconds. Yeah, sorry about that. I was just trying to finish off the expedition, so I realised I hadn't actually done those. Sorry about that, yeah. all of something seems to be happening. I was just uh, looking at the uh, hero roster for the uh, subscriber to see what he's got. And uh, one thing is he's got, so uh, I did ask him about PD. Uh, so he's got uh, level five. <clears throat> I'll use a level 5 insignia. Uh, he's got uh, a regen. And, uh, so that's very similar in terms of build that he's got at the moment. He doesn't, you don't need to have the uh, pet on there. Uh, to be honest, if you really want, have a, a DPS pet on there. Uh, something you get all the attack as well. Uh, so I'm just doing this just to. Uh, him, probably on uh, PD if you want, uh, you actually did have Ice Demon as well, uh, you didn't have Revive on him, uh, for some reason you had Blade Shell, uh, but let's forget that, and you had uh, another 5, so let's put another 5 on him, not the 8, so let's make it comparable to what you had. And pet. I'll try and use a pet that most of us have got, and not the. Uh, uh, actually, let's try him without a pet. Yeah, let's try him without a pet. And uh, who else did you have? Okay, you have got Levanica on there, Delve Keeper, uh, Skeletica, Demogorgon, so obviously you're not uh, free to play. Uh, you have got uh, your Anubis' BT5. Okay, so let's use Anubis. So I do quite like using uh, what have you got on yours? Actually, I'll leave it as uh, yeah, I'll have that on there because you have got a level five. What's it? Did I just have? Uh, I must have been asleep. Um, yeah, uh, must have lost it. Uh, let's just have a look. A wicked armor talent and a wicked armor and insignia. Definitely lost it. Uh, You had uh, Flame Guard, 
So the only one I've got close to is this one, so I'll have to use this. I don't know if it'll be good enough, but uh, so as you did have two level fives and a level seven, on the, I'm now going to put the uh, seven. The one I'm using. Uh, what I would have normally done is left the five on PP, five on Ice Demon, and uh, put the seven on uh, Anubis. So that's what I would do. So when you're doing it, that's what I would do. Anubis, I've just got uh, an entire talent there, and I thought I'd try and get uh, a Flame Guard, which is what you're using at the moment. So, uh, yeah, that's equivalent to what you've got at the moment. What are the heroes have we got? Okay, I'm not going to use uh, some of the other ones, so let's leave it as that for now. One of the others I wanted to quickly try, uh, an Empower Level 5. What have you got in your... Uh, you've got the Zero to Revive. Okay, yeah, so... You've got a revive, I'll change it to a revive, and I'll put an empower fire there. Okay, so that's yeah, let's just see how this goes. So uh line of defense. So the important heroes at the moment. So let's try and pick some of the heroes that you've got. So I want to include Ravanica. Uh, your Azurix is on the uh, BT5. I'll put PD in there. Anubis, obviously. So we've got a uh, double keeper, but mine's way high. I've got Cosma. Yours is 5 compared to my 11. So you've got in power. Looks like, yeah, you've got in power on him already. Then you have use the Dollar Devil, so I won't use that. Uh, I'm simply going to use definitely uh, Ice Demon. So, okay. so at the moment, my PD's got uh, an Empower 7, my Newbies have got an Empower 5, and my Ice Demon's got an Empower 5. We've got a demo on here. PD is on the uh, BT1. Okay, now I have got a cultist. And I have got a uh, little nick. So, we've got Phobos as well. So, yours on level. We've got Granny. We've got Grandma. Yep, yours is an Evo. We haven't got the race yet. We've got a Tracy Treat. We've got a Hultist. Phobos. Okay, let's see what this is. First thing you need to do is drop your PD on the right, Ice Demon over here, Anubis over here. Now, I'll just put uh, my Tricks and Treat over here. Probably don't need to use that, but uh, we'll wait and see. Okay, so remember this is using very similar insignia to what you've got. Okay, my Anubis is BT10 compared with your... BT5 and... Uh, PD mine's BT10 compared with your BT1. But uh, there you go, it's all completed, all beaten. Didn't even need to use Tricks of the Tree. I'll just try that again. 
to remember PD, I like to drop him on the right. Uh, so PD on the right, my steam over here, and then I need this over here. Let's just try the three of them. Now remember, you can add extra heroes onto this. So if you wanted to, you could put in uh, Cosmo, uh, Phobos, the Zulix, Trixie Treat. You've had uh, as many heroes as you like, to be honest. You've got another three spaces here. So there you go, that's just using three heroes, uh, similar to your heroes. Um, as close as possible as I could get those. And uh, yeah, my traits are rubbish. So if your traits are rubbish as well, they are going to be very similar. But as you can see now, uh, the Archdemon's pretty much dead. Twos of violins are going to get through. There you go. Those are the only two getting through, but I've still been around. I just wanted to uh, show you something else. Uh, that my colleague, uh, my guildmate, still actually mentioned. Now, remember in this case, um, my Bazoonix is only, uh, I think it's BT, it's a lot higher BT than yours. Uh, I think it's BT 10 or 20, but the power on there is only five. Uh, so it might not work as well as it should, uh, but I just wanted to show you. Now, I didn't know this about this particular game mode. Uh, I honestly didn't. Um, but my guildmate, Steel, actually mentioned it. Uh, that someone online a while ago had actually uh, told him about it. Where uh, to win in this game mode, you just need to uh, finish a time and still be alive. Uh, so that's all that's needed. So all you need to do for this particular game mode which some people might not know, and I definitely didn't, is stun them. Stun them for the full three minutes or two and a half minutes or however long it is. And as long as you can manage to stun them for that period of time, you've won. So you can finish it just with this one hero. Uh, so yeah, it's BT20, sorry, in, in my particular case. And I'm using Empower 5. Uh, with a revive crest set, so revive is really only giving it a uh, health boost and nothing else. So, yeah, as you can see, pretty much all the uh, Yetis, Sasquatch is pretty much all. They will die very soon. But yeah, using just one hero, uh, you can, even if you can't kill them, you can actually store them for long enough. Um, so as long as it goes to the two minute mark, three minute mark, you've won. So uh, there you go, that's another option you, you can actually consider. And obviously you can throw in other heroes as well. <clears throat> so I'm not sure this is gonna work, but I just wanted to try it out. <clears throat> I don't think this is going to work, but uh, why not? Just see what happens. I was just wondering, because of the other method, uh, I was just wondering, is it possible to stall uh, these enemies for long enough that you can still actually win? Um, no, it looks like it's not going to be possible. I think if I had uh, got one more spot, no, no, so it's not possible to do it just with the one. But what you might want to do 
if you want to play it safe. But uh, Idy over there, Ice Demon over here, uh, Anubis over there, Brazilian over there, Cosmo over here. It's a bit of overkill now. And Occultus over there. And that's a guaranteed win again. So you've got a, a couple of different options, and hopefully, you found one of those useful. Um, so you might want to use the uh, Lazulix method. Okay, so let's just quickly finish this off. What time is it? One thirty-six. Okay, I need to get some sleep. So, uh, yeah, so if I was in your shoes, uh, what I would probably do, I would, yeah, use the PD on one side, use the ice demon on the other, move this over here, and resume it over there. And that's a guaranteed win. So basically you've got uh, two particular heroes now, slowing things down. You've got uh, Ice Demon obviously slowing things down. <coughs> and when the Zulix pops, you've got the Zulix also uh, slowing things down. At the moment obviously uh, the heroes can't. It is hero overkill, because we honestly don't need any the Zulix there. But uh, if you want to make sure 100% and what you might want to throw in a few other heroes. Another option you might want to consider. Like I was doing originally, uh, put uh, the Zulix over here. And I wouldn't put PD anywhere. I'd just leave it as the Zulix. And then if you want, throw in uh, an Anubis. And that'll pretty much kill off all the heroes. So you've got the stalling tactic, and on top of that, you've also got now uh, Anubis here, which is an Anubis will basically slowly kill off all the heroes. Don't worry about a few of the heroes going through the enemies. You're not really fussed about those. But uh, yeah, this particular method, especially with a timeout feature, uh, which I never knew about until Steel mentioned it. Uh, yeah, I've. I've never knew about it so basically if you're uh, free to play uh, you could drop uh, the Zulix down and uh, even if he's low level you won't be able to kill off the heroes but at the very least you'll be able to uh, keep them there for the full three minutes and uh, get the win so uh, yeah, very straightforward I have to admit, I found that so interesting. You can pretty much have uh, the Zulix anywhere. But what you do want to do is make sure you're in this area. So, this uh, hero base, this one over here, or this one over here. Because you want to try and ensure uh, that you've got. <coughs> you can basically hit as many heroes as possible with uh, the Zulix's proc. But look, they just stun all of them. You won't be able to beat the Archdemon, but you're not really worried. You've got uh, 10 heroes that can get through. So it's uh, a very nice, simple, easy method and uh, I would really like to give credit uh, to the person that mentioned it to Seal because he mentioned he heard it uh, from someone who was half drunk <laughs> during a line chat. Uh, chat? <laughs> during a line chat. So, uh, yeah, it's... none of us believed him. None of us believed it was possible to uh, basically beat line of defense with uh, a Vizulix and no one else. Um, because no one had heard about this time how 
and I don't understand why no other YouTubers have actually mentioned it. You know, you've got uh, all these big, big boys who've been doing this line of defence, and not one person has actually mentioned uh, the Time Out feature. Uh, as long as your hero survives for the full amount of time, you win. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to quickly, I'll show you the heroes, uh, so that you know I'm not messing you about. So, there you go, the Zulix was uh, mine, I'm going to put him back to how it was. And, uh, power 5, I'll put him back to how it was normally. Um, who else was there? PD and uh, 7. And uh, going back to how long he is. <coughs> and as you can see, I left a uh, flame guard 3. More than likely, yours is flame guard 5. Uh, I just did that just for. Uh, Unfortunately, that's the only playing guard in the city where I've got, so uh, I have no other choice. Yeah, so I didn't use any of those heroes, any of those. The Zulix I've already gone through, it's with five, similar to yours. Cosmo, I did use on one occasion. And uh, yeah, he had a much higher the empower. I did that really for show more than anything. Uh, Occultist, the same thing again. Yeah, I think that's. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, Hopefully you found it of use and uh, you can finally get that uh, final day done and you can get your Crystal Wraith in case you haven't been able to so far. But uh, if anyone's got any questions or views or ideas or anything, can you just leave a comment down below and uh, like the other sub did and uh, I'll try and get back in touch with you. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I thought it was uh, only fair that I tried to help him out because he's asked a few times and he's uh, been a pretty good sub, so uh, he always comments on my vids and everything, so I thought it's the least I can do. Uh, okay, it's only two in the morning, so I think I better be going. I need to get this uploaded and... Uh, <sighs> uh, Mr. Big Boy's on now. Yeah, showing off his land core. He's just managed to do uh, insane 8.1. Um, so uh, he's one of the uh, big guns in uh, Sovereign. That's the guild I'm in. Uh, yeah, so that's the guild I'm in, Sovereign. Uh, that's in their force. I've got no idea who this is, so I'll let someone else decide. Uh, yes, yeah, so you've got those two big guns there, Force and Gemstaff. Uh, they're definitely the big boys, the big guns. Uh, you've got Nellis as well. Uh, he's been in the guild for a very long time. Uh, so when I moved in or came to the guild, he was there. Um, he's not as active as he used to be, um, but he still helps out quite a bit. Uh, the leader is uh, the uh, 69 is legend sovereign Jean J H O N. Uh, so a few, few you might know him. Uh, Ants there. There you go, Lord Steel. He's the one who uh, got me over that time. Fourth, fourth BW is uh, his Smurf. Fangstalker, the the great, the all knowing one. Uh, yeah, he's here as well. Fang Stalker. The One Hand Bandit. Misfit, unfortunately. He's in the guild as well. Uh, Steel's got quite a few smokes in here. 
where you guys can stick your wood. Where uh, let's do it. Uh, oops, right. Here we are. We're uh, number thirty-six, page four. There we are. Something. So yeah, we're pretty much we're quite close again, thirty-fourth place. In terms of uh, might though, we're in number 249, but in donations, we're uh, top 40. Okay, uh, it hopefully that's uh, all that we need to, for me to go through. If you've got any other questions, yeah, just uh, post it on, on the channel, in the comments, or uh, online. Thanks for that and hope you enjoyed the vid. Thanks then. Bye.